Hello, my name is Matteo Mekacci. I'm the president of the International Campaign for Tibet. And today I'm going to give you a preview of the content of the current uh, Tibet update. So we begin with some very good news because around 10 days ago, some key members of the House of Foreign Affairs Committee introduced a very strong resolution on Tibet. Uh, the resolution was introduced by Congresswoman Ileana Rosleitinen and the ranking member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Elliot Engel, and the resolution calls for the full implementation of the Tibetan Policy Act and calls also on the Trump administration to take concrete steps to support the aspirations of the Tibetan people. And it was very important that the resolution was introduced right on the eve of the president's trips to Asia. And as you might have seen from press reports, uh, uh, he has also met with President Xi Jinping and discussed some bilateral issues between US and China. From press reports, we also know uh, that according to Secretary Tillerson, the president raised the issue of human rights with uh, President Xi Jinping, but we don't know uh, whether he mentions Tibet or what kind of commitments or requests he made to the Chinese leadership. So we are now following up with the State Department and we'll also continue to monitor both uh, uh, you know, through the House of Representatives and also through the Senate what are the developments. Also in this issue, we talk about uh, the situation inside Tibet with the cancellation of a major religious festival at Larungar, but also we have another great news. Uh, one of our members has decided to add $50,000 to the much challenge gift that our chairman Richard Gere has given. So now the total is up to $250,000. And we call on all of you who have been supporting ICT for many years to join this uh, challenge and please contribute to make sure that our work can continue and be effective on behalf of the Tibetan people. So thank you once again, and I look forward to the next issue to talk to you again. Thank you.